I'm filming in my car because I'm shy to film in front of people. <laughs> Hello hikers, welcome back to African Hiker. I'm Anita and I make videos about various hiking trails in Africa. Today I'm at Foothold in the Mahalisberg and I have come here to do some elevation training for an upcoming hike in the Drakensberg. In Gauteng we don't have much elevation on offer, but repetition is the answer. Today I'll be doing three loops up and down Foothold. This will be about three to four hundred meters. So by the end of the day, I will have hiked roughly a thousand meters. This amount of elevation gain is typical for an average day in the Drakensberg. The other reason I've chosen to come to Foothold is because the trail is not easy. The terrain changes pff, three, four times. Like it starts off gradual and then it gets steep and then there are boulders and rocks and then you're in a gully and not to mention the chain ladder. Basically everything that you would encounter in the Drakensberg. You can find it here, but like obviously like smaller pieces. And to intensify things, I'm going to do the first loop as fast as I can. Send prayers for my legs, guys. Are you ready? go down the valley so this part here will be very useful for practicing to go down passes in the Drakensberg uh, you'll see in a second whoopsie I never take the ladder down <laughs> I prefer the rocks you see kind of like a little mini Drakensberg pass. Very mini. Okay, let's go down. I'm just thinking, if you're doing the Amatola, these types of hill repeats will be one of the best things to incorporate into your training. Pretty much every day on the Amatola is no less than 600 meters. Quack, quack. So your kids can hike foothold as well. It's not that hard. We can do it. Oh, these kids are like... Super. Eventually we go and climb up the chain ladder when we're mm. old enough. You haven't done her? How old are you by the way? Seven. Seven? She's ten. Ten? Okay. Yeah. Then you'll do the chain ladder. That's a fun one. And it is different from the Drakensberg because you're not doing majority of the climb in a pass in one go. You will be hiking up and down and up and down hour after hour, day after day. Much like these loops today. Buddy, how's it going? <laughs> Welcome Anita and enjoy foothold. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. How's this? Uh... You're coming back up? Yeah, I'm gonna go back up. Come. <laughs> no, I need to go Hello. to the bottom first. <laughs> oh, hey. Bottom. Yeah. Hello. I'll see y'all. <laughs> okay, that was round one. And now we're going back up. Oh, by the way, that's the camp. Uh, you can't see it. At this point, after the boulders, you can choose to go up the gully or the ladder. The hike I'm doing in the Drakensberg is Tagula Falls and Namahadi, the Free State's highest peak. And peak number seven for me. The hike to Tagula is not bad. This type of training is probably an overkill, but I was pretty much hibernating all winter, so I need to get my fitness levels up again. And I have some big hikes coming up one of which will be the most physically challenging hike of my life so far. It is still a number of months away, but today's hike is the beginning of my training for that trail. Can you guess what it is? Here's a clue. There's a lot of climbing. Don't fall. You've already done the hike a few times. Well, I ain't coming there anytime soon. <laughs> Let's stand somewhere, like, look at this, where we're trying to, like... 
do a self go higher up okay dex hey hello how are you Lisa? yes i am <laughs> This way wasn't really designed for down, but is there someone? It's been three hours and eight minutes and I have climbed 755. So right now I've gone up twice and yeah, one more up because it's about 350 to go up. Then I'll be at a thousand. My knee hurts like it, it, it's Aina, okay? It is Aina. So here's the thing. I'm thinking of changing plans. Not even thinking of it. I'm actually, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm currently on 777. And what I'll do when I get to the bottom is I'm gonna take a little bit of a break and then I'm going to um, hike back up because I still want the 1000 meters, you know? So it sucks that I'm not going to do the full loop, the third one. I'm just going to hike up until, until I reach a thousand and then make my way back down. And I'll do it as slow as necessary. Uh, yeah, that's what it has come to. I think maybe I could push, you know, maybe. But my body, my body wants the soft life. <laughs> my body doesn't like to suffer <laughs> like an injury for what you know as i said i've got big hikes coming up so i'd rather play it safe <sighs> okay look at this little one how ninnies Okay, so last round and what I have also done is lift my backpack. I just got my water and up we go. Here's the surroundings for the third time. What does, oh, 892. Nearly there, nearly there. This last round is the toughest. Whenever I get to shade, I'm literally just stopping in it. Like I don't want to go on. It's fire. Look at that. Okay. Let's push, push, push. We need a thousand. We just want to get to a thousand and then we turn around and go back down. Like that's good enough for me. Oh, and my knee hurts. Like even on the up, actually my legs hurt in general. <sighs> ah, every step hurts and now sun. Oh. <sighs> ah, nearly there, 46 to go. top of these stairs I'm at a thousand because honestly 
I don't know how much of this I can take. flat here but that little climb should do it this should be two meters <sighs> this feels good. <laughs> now for the painful down. Oh my gosh, my knee. Oh. If you watched all the way till now, thank you. Like, thank you so much. I really like sharing my journey with you. And I hope you enjoy it too. Hikers Haven. And we are done. Five hours and two minutes. <laughs> <laughs>